One of the best collaborative partnerships in the sneaker world over the last few years has been that of Stussy and Nike, giving us some clean, streetwear-ready designs on some not-so-popular models, as well as more well-known ones. And now, Stussy and Nike have done it again, this time on a pretty niche Air Max model. My name is Josh, and I will be reviewing the Stussy Nike Air Max 2013. So what is good guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing month so far and a great summer. Getting this quickly out of the way, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping at least three videos a week. Give me a follow on my socials, TikTok, Instagram. That's where I'm most active. The handles are right here. And also for even more listening content, make sure you check out the best sneaker podcast out there, the Kickback Pod, available on Spotify and Apple Music. That link is also in the description. So let's get into it, the Nike Air Max 2013 collab with Stussy. The Air Max 2013, I gotta admit, not a sneaker that has ever been on my radar. I was looking at pictures of some older models, seemed like a pretty aggressive Nike Air Max sneaker with the midsole done entirely out of air and also being completely transparent. But let's be honest, it's definitely not a very well-known sneaker amongst the sneaker community, so a pretty surprising choice by Stussy. But what you can tell by looking at this pair is that it looks nothing like those earlier 20. 13 Air Maxes and that's mainly because of the branding look at where the swoosh is on this shoe so the branding on the sneaker was taken from a different Air Max model this being the Air Max 2015 you can see the swoosh was placed towards the back of the sneaker so this sneaker actually really is a combination of a Nike Air Max 2013 as well as 2015 it did drop in three different colorways the favorite of mine had to be this fossil colorway and alongside this dropped a black version as well as the loudest colorway yet from a studio see a Nike collab that I can remember this all over baby pink color the fossil colorway and the pink ones were the more limited of the two because they were exclusively available only on the Stussy website as well as the Nike sneakers app the black pair was more widely available amongst other retailers the fossil colorway was definitely my favorite of the three because it is the most wearable and at this point Stussy might as well trademark this fossil colorway because they have released a bunch of previous sneakers in this colorway we're very familiar with it the pink ones I also have to admit it definitely grew on me over time but if I had to pick one it had to be this fossil colorway also because the materials on this pair are different from the other two Stussy has once again transformed the shoe completely the entire upper of the sneaker done in that hemp material the same material we've seen them use on the more recent collabs I have to say even though I do like the way this material looks and feels it's not my favorite material simply because it is quite difficult to clean it does catch dirt quite easily and it is pretty difficult to get rid of stains the Stussy fans out there, come on, we love taking fit pics. And oftentimes we're taking these fit pics at cafes. Well, let me tell you, you drop some coffee on these sneakers, yeah, it's over. The sneaker also comes with these very nice rope laces, which I gotta say look great on this shoe. And the rope laces are held together by this Nike flywire. Pretty minimal branding also, I feel, overall on the shoe. Yeah, you do get that swoosh on the lateral side, but it's not too loud. You get some minimal Stussy branding as well near the front of the shoe, as well as on the tongue. And also on the medial side, you get another mini swoosh. Perhaps my favorite thing about the shoe, however, has to be the midsole because we get a matted out midsole here done in that fossil color. On the other two colorways, you get the normal midsole, which is that entire air bubble. This time, however, they have painted over the air bubble and I think it looks super clean. I really like how that turned out. And finally, to round it all off, on the outsole, you get a nice black rubber outsole. There is another thing I really like about the shoe as well, and it's not really talked about much when it comes to most sneaker reviews, and that is the way the shoe looks when you're just looking down at it so kind of like the view from the top whenever most people talk about how shoes look on feet we're usually talking about that lateral view but most of the time when we're looking at our shoes we're actually looking at it from the top down and these shoes from that angle I feel just look really really nice really clean there are some other shoes for example the New Balance 550s looks great on feet but from the top down I mean what the is that toe box moving on to sizing for this model so i did get these in my true size a us 11 and they fit really great it's a perfect fit for me a nice lockdown feeling if you have wider feet i might go up half a size it does fit a bit narrow along the midfoot area but i think for most people true to size will be fine to give you some context i wear the exact same size in a nike air max one a nike dunk 
Same with the Jordan 1s and all these shoes, I fit a US 11. The same with these right here. Now, when it comes to what I didn't like about the shoe, it has to be the retail price. I thought it was pretty steep, to be honest, guys. So the retail price of this, in Europe at least, was 210 euros, which I felt was very, very steep for a Nike Air Max sneaker, considering most Air Max 1s, most other Air Max sneakers are well below 200. I thought the price was a bit too high. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that. Moving on to what these are going for right now on the resale market. I did mention earlier the resale price on these were already pretty high at 210. So I'm not really surprised that they're not going for much more above that price. At the time of filming this video, you can get this for retail basically from StockX. And actually on the European sneakers app, these are actually still sitting right now as I film this. I personally don't even see these increasing in price all that much going forward. So if you are on the fence thinking about whether to cop or not, I do think you can take your time with it. Either way, I will leave a StockX link in the description. Overall, the Nike Air Max 2013, are these a cop or a drop? Now, I personally buy quite a few shoes just to basically review on the channel and then I'll either sell them or sometimes even return them. I am a content creator after all and I do need these shoes to make content. This was one of those pairs that I thought, you know, for sure, I'm just gonna cop these, make a video, send it back. But I personally find it very hard to do so because I quite like these guys. They're super clean, they look really good on feet and another really good thing about the shoe is that because of how nice the silhouette is and simple it is, it makes this a super versatile sneaker. It's one of those subtle flex type of sneakers, which I absolutely love. You can wear it with any outfit, but it still has a bit of hype. I love sneakers like that. Let me know if you guys feel the same. I've been a pretty big fan of everything Stussy and Nike have been doing together over the last few years. Oh, and by the way, those upcoming Air Penny Stussy joints, those look super hard as well. But getting back into these shoes, yeah, I think these are great. They're a bit overpriced, sure, but they are very versatile. You probably will be able to get quite a lot of use out of it. So I can't lie, I like these a lot. I'm gonna give these a cop. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments as usual. Thank you guys as always for supporting the channel. There's a ton of releases coming up in the next couple of weeks, so watch out for more videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.